you ever read the synopsis for an anime and kind of be interested in watching it, but you're not really too sure and you don't really think you're going to like it too much? That happened with me and the case study of Vanitas. The catch is, though, it turned out to be amazing! It was a great first episode of an anime, and I actually have watched the second episode now, too, because I couldn't help myself. There's three episodes out right now. You guys want to catch it? You can do so on Funimation. Honestly, I don't really like vampires. I think that was a big part of it. I'm sure a lot of you would disagree with me, but I don't really like the vampire genre that much. I don't find a ton of interest in it outside of like really old films, the classics like uh, Nosferatu or Dracula dead and loving it. This anime is a little bit different though. Instead of the protagonist being a vampire or a vampire hunter, he's actually like a vampire savior, if you will. Starts off with a guy who's looking for a book called The Book of Vanitas, because everything's Vanitas. And uh, instead of finding the book, he actually finds a guy who says that he is Vanitas, even though Vanitas is dead, and he has a book. Now, the book doesn't have, like, crazy supernatural powers that, like, destroy the world, really. What it actually does, or at least what they use it for, is to save vampires. Vampires have this crazy illness that happens to them, and they kind of go psychotic, and this guy is somewhat of a healer, and he uses the book to take all the craziness out of them and make them right again. It's a pretty interesting concept because the rest of the world doesn't really know how they feel about that, at least in the vampire culture itself. The animation is fantastic. It's really good. Uh, it's made by Studio Bones, and I'm pretty sure everyone who watches anime is familiar with Bones. They're awesome. And I don't know why I expected anything less than awesome from them. I made one of my favorite animes, Gosik. And there's actually a lot of cool stuff in Vanitas that really reminds me a lot of some of like the architecture and stuff that they show. It's set in 19th century France. There's a lot of cool like steampunk elements that are also added in. I think the character design's really cool so far. The characters that we've run into have been pretty wild and interesting, but we don't learn a whole lot about them, which I'm finding to be very typical. The action is super awesome in it as well. They have some pretty cool fight or at least flight scenes that they have. Uh, episode two, I'm not gonna get too much into, but they do have another character that they introduce that has an insanely wicked weapon. It's it's super, super cool. Uh, I don't think I'm going to show it up on the screen because I don't want to do that spoiler, but you guys should check it out. Sir. It's totally awesome. I love it. So once again, if you guys like mystery and you like a little bit of action, you like some stylized combat and some really cool special effects, I really would suggest this to watch. Both myself and Bree have been really, really hooked on it, and she was actually really upset when we watched episode two and then I didn't get to move into episode three with her. Another thing that I really loved about the anime is the opening music. Holy crap, that totally took me by surprise. It's a pretty sick one. Even if you don't watch the anime, I highly suggest checking that out. And I'll try to put a link in the description below for it. If you guys want to check that out. I look forward to seeing where this goes. I mean, the idea, like I said, initially, it wasn't all that interesting to me. But once they started getting into the fact that everything's a little bit different, where they're healing the vampires, and there's some sort of disease that's going on with everyone. I actually got really, really intrigued. There's also kind of a little bit of a cat and mouse play between the two main characters. It's got a little bit of everything. There's some mystery, there's some action, there's actually plenty of humor in it as well. Definitely a lot of like cool guy moments. We gotta love those in our anime. So check this one out guys, the case study of Vanitas. You can catch it streaming on Funimation or wherever else you get your anime because there's other places to get anime too. I'm Dre with Yokoso Otaku Gaming and if you like this content, give us a thumbs up. We would super, super appreciate it. We are constantly doing anime news, reviews, and gaming. Give us a subscription if you like the content. We'd really appreciate to see you back in here, and I'll catch you on the next one.